We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody. This is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and we promised you that we were going to go into our luggage and show you it, watching it blow up. Right babe? Yeah, I forgot. So I already unpacked one bag and I was like, oh, we were going to show them the bags. So we stopped and so you can see what's around me came out of one bag. Actually more than this came out, like some stuff in the bathroom. I was so excited to get to go and wash my hair. I haven't been able to wash my hair for like five days or something because the shampoos and everything were in all these bags. So I was just like, ah, and ran off to the bathroom and I just feel incredibly relieved right now. But we still have three bags to go. So. And th that first bag was the smallest of them all. Well, there's two tied for the smallest, but there's two that are huge. We have, there's been no appliances except for one blender craft. Yeah. There's, we, we're about to stock our kitchen up here. We've got a next caliber four tray. We've got two blenders, so much. Juicer and Om Jim, really excited about unpacking it. The Om Jim's going up right there. We've never actually had an Om Jim of our own because we haven't lived anywhere. I'm so excited about that computer. Sorry. Om Jim of our own, Bubba. Can we show them maybe the fridge and all the yummers? All this food for 50 cents. avocados, tomatoes, papaya, mangoes, this thing that we don't know what it is, plantain, huge zucchinis, and then look at the fridge. We went to the market and bought all this amazing stuff ourselves, and then our friends who run the Sambuca Cafe here, Raul and Isamar, they have the most incredible organic gardens here, and they sent over this basket of food from their garden for us today. Like, it, it just huge amounts of greens and uh, carrots and beetroots and the fridge is just packed with stuff right now. We're just... Ink and berries. Yeah, fresh ink and berries. We're totally um, abundant. Sugar cane juice. And then we just got fresh aloe from Mike's garden as well. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to start putting in my smoothies and stuff. So I guess we'll show you the bags when they're unpacked. Today I made a green smoothie with mango, nettles, and alfalfa. That was really good. You didn't think you were going to like it, did you? Yeah. I thought it wouldn't probably taste that good, but it really did. It's amazing to be able to put nettles into smoothies. I never thought about that. It's like such a good way of getting nettles into the body without any ow. Here, take that. I want to show them. This 25 cent mango is actually ripe. It tastes better than any mango I've ever had in the United States. These avocados that are, how much was this, 15 cents? These are the ripe ones. I just like holding the ripe ones instead. 15 cents for an avocado? Yeah, they're amazing. These are, my, babe, you didn't think you were gonna like these avocados either, did you? Yeah, they didn't look that appealing to me. I thought they'd be a little bit kind of ropey or not that flavoursome or something. They are off the hook. They're probably like the best avocados I've ever had. I actually started to um, grow some of them over here. I was going to show you guys. So I started to soak two of them and then this is the next part of the process. I've been learning all about how to grow avocados from YouTube videos. I just think it's so cool. Like I can just watch a three minute YouTube video and then I know how to grow avocados or at least I know something. So you put these toothpicks in, you scrape off a bit of the skin on the bottom after it's soaked for a while, and you scrape off some stuff around the top. Apparently, people also say to cut part of the top off, um, and then you just sit it in water, and maybe in like two weeks or something like that, it's going to have roots growing down, and then once it has that, at some point it's going to like crack open at the top as well, and then the tree comes out the top. Do all, do they plant seeds? I mean, plant, do the, the trees actually make avocados? Um, as long as they're outside and they're able to be pollinated, there's the potential for them to then produce fruit. But what a lot of people are writing and telling me is that um, it seems like you often need to graft avocado onto another tree because they just need help or something. So, I don't know. We'll find out. 
I'm excited to um, plant pineapples as well. We've been learning how to do that. I actually kind of knew this from when I lived in Costa Rica. You just, my friend there told me you just cut off like, like that. Like give it kind of an inch and a bit or something and then you just plant this in the ground. That's what he does and he's like the biggest organic farmer in Costa Rica. The videos I've been watching on YouTube, they say it's slightly different. You can go and Google it and look it up. But they kind of say like you cut that off and then you cut all the flesh away so that you just have the center part and then that's what you start to grow from. I don't know. I'm going to experiment. These smell just incredible. I'm a bit overwhelmed here. We've just got like grass and land out there and Mike's been here for two weeks. We're going to actually go over there on Tuesday. We're going to film him and show you what he's done since the last time we were here a year ago. We're, I feel like we're so behind. It's crazy. And these avocados are the best avocados on the planet. So should we come back and show them when we've unpacked everything? Sounds good to me. I'm going to set this other avocado. So how does that happen in nature, the top scraping off and the bottom scraping off? Well, it doesn't, but this is a way of speeding the process up. So this is the skin, and if we leave it like this, the plant has got to like break through the skin itself in both directions, which of course it can totally do. Like you said, in nature, that's what it would be doing. But we can speed the process up. And right now, I'm all about trying to help all of our trees and all of our seeds to get going as quickly as possible. Because, it, yeah, it just feels like there's so much to do. And I'm excited to get my large marine phytoplanktons and royal jelly powder that we brought into Ecuador. Yeah. And we'll see you in a moment. Okay, everybody, so here's the result of unpacking. I'm so happy to have clothes and marine phytoplankton and royal jelly powder and so many other things, dulse. Um, Appliances, our haram juicer, blenders, food processor. We got it all, everything we need. And it doesn't look as much as I thought it would all laid out. Om Jim! We're going to show you that Om Jim in action at some point. And yeah, so this is what it turned out to be. We started putting stuff away too, so yada, yada, yada. Thank you, Universe, for delivering the luggage to us, finally. Yeah, and we scored. I mean, we got some free stuff. I mean, this would have cost us extra money to bring. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, so we were blessed. The Universe is always loving us, isn't it, Bubba? Yes. And who do we got over there? Angela Stokes Monarch. And Matt Monarch, and we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show in Vilcabamba. Thanks for joining. The raw food world.